Yeah, look at that. See? Ice fishing in the shark. <laughs> look at that. On a spoon. I was jigging a spoon. Yeah, Ralph and I spent a lot of time here in over the years so when it's cool outside and you come in out of the wind. I'm telling you, comforts of home. This is what we could be doing together anytime soon. Whenever you guys are up to it, come on out and enjoy yourself. Anytime, any season, let me know. I'm always here for you. Look at this. Here's Tuffy, Ralph, Ice Shack. Look at that. It's all awesome. It's all good. Look at that. Even in my little tiny one-man trap, scout, uh, ice shack sled, and here I am spooning again in a different shack the same day, and maybe about 20 minutes later, I've caught two fish in this, this hole, and it's windy outside, and all I have to do is just, uh, I flip this over top, and I can open it up, and I can see my whole fish, bring them out on the ice, pretty cool, huh? Then there's Ralph over there, the other ice shack over there, so, yeah, yeah, and here we are again, sitting in the ice shack, well, you know what, it's lunchtime, Ralph, he's got the beans and the lasagna on, ooh, mm. look at that, hot lunch, in out of the wind, look at that, mm-hmm. Style and in style, yeah. Mmm, good hot lunch. Man, we're still fishing too. Didn't miss a beat. Look at that, we can't even eat our lunch. <laughs> See that? We just made lunch, we caught a fish. Isn't that amazing or what? Merry Christmas! I've just had a one on. I'm eating lunch. I've eaten my lunch now. It's now look at this. Yeah, I was part spooning, dropped my spoon down. Two seconds later, another fish on. You can't beat it, eh? Sitting inside the ice shack, nothing but fun. Look at that one, guys. Look at this one. Look at the size of that puppy. <laughs> oh, nice. Lunch. Guess what? Got him on the proverbial old sucker bait. Look at that. That is a beauty. Yeah, look at this. What is it? Uh, December 21st, shortest day of uh, winter, and winter solstice, I believe. And guess what? I think it's day six or seven in a row. I'm back to get that 30 pound pike. We'll be there in about 15, 20 minutes. So this is one of one of my guide spots. And then behind me, if you go straight west behind me, we'll be Pine Coulee. And uh, I'm getting geared up. I'm by myself, me and Tubby again. We're gonna go out and do some fishing. And we'll, uh, see if we can catch that 30 pound pike because seven days ago was when I lost my tip up and the batteries went dead on this camera so uh, I'm learning and getting used to the darn thing it's uh I gotta keep an eye on time since I've switched to rechargeable batteries it seems to record a lot longer so we'll see you out there hopefully you'll see me landing a big fish today Anything over 10 pounds is a, is a nice fish, but we're actually trying to get those big, big fish. And sometimes they bite 7 to 14 days apart once they feed, put on a good feed bag. That and they get big for a reason, because they're smart. I'm going to see if I can beat them today. Hopefully we can get on some bites. We'll see you soon. And you guys will enjoy this. I hope you've been enjoying it. I've been out practicing, practice, practice, practice. And I always do this around Christmas time because what else can I do? Drive my wife crazy and uh, she threw, already threw me out of the house this morning. Go fish, she says. So here I go. I'm running a little late, so we might have missed the, morning, the, the big morning bite. We're going to give it a try. Here we go. Look at that. Got one already. Got a pike. I don't know if you can see him or not. There he 
is is in the hole. I'm only here, what, five minutes? <laughs> Spooning again. Yeah, look at that. I'm at four pike already and I've only been here for, what, half an hour? Yeah, well, that's the master angler for you. Practice spooning, trying for those big giant pike. All so far I'm just getting little guys. But look at the work I did last night. I got my quad set up like my boat. I'm going to tip out down there and wait for that 30 pounder. And uh, just like my boat, I've got rods in the boat. I've got rods in my quad. So, hey, hey, right on. Quarter after one, I finally got a nice pike. Ain't no 30 pounder. But, uh, yeah, I've been sitting here being patient and while I was being patient. I was working on my quad. I've had quite a few bites since lunch. And I've got my machine all set up here. Yeah, it's great to have the great equipment. Just set up like my boat in the summertime, the quad and the hard water fishing. Gets you to the fish and you get results like this. Big pike. Yeah, what a nice way. Quarter after one. And put a little late today. I missed one earlier. So I knew he was a big one. Yep. Bonus. And look at Tubby. He just sits there and relaxes like nothing's going on. Alright. This is what we could be catching. Yeah, you guys just got to get used to the hard water fishing. It's not that bad. It's only at minus seven. Anyways. It's all good. Bonus! I think I better hurry up and let this fish go. And we'll talk to you soon.